Let's evaluate another argument with a truth table. The argument goes like this. If the defendant's DNA is found at the crime scene, then we can have him stand trial. He is standing trial. Consequently, we have found evidence of his DNA at the crime scene. As we did before, we want to break this down into premises and conclusion so that we can see what the form of the argument is. And then we'll draw a truth table to determine whether that argument is valid or not. And remember, on the truth table, if the argument turns out to be a tautology, it's valid. Otherwise, it's invalid. The premises, again, are everything before the therefore, or in this case, consequently. So everything before that is premises. We have, if the defendant's DNA is found at the crime scene, then we can have him stand trial, and he is standing trial. So we need to define these in terms of P and Q. Let's call his DNA being found P, and let's call having him stand trial Q. So the first premise is if P, then Q, which looks like this. The second premise is that he is standing trial, which we called Q. The conclusion, consequently, we have found evidence of his DNA. That's what we called P. So the argument looks like this. We have premises that look like P implies Q, and Q, and this argument claims that that proves P. You should be able to tell this is an invalid argument just by reading through it, but now we're going to prove that with a truth table, where we have P implies Q and Q as our premises, and P as our conclusion. The truth table looks like this, where we have columns building up to the final argument, and again we just fill them in using the rules that we know. P implies Q is true except for the case where P is true and Q is false. P implies Q and Q. We combine the second and third columns. The rule for and is that it's true if both are true and false otherwise. Then the final argument, we take that column we just built, which is our premises together, use that as the condition on a conditional statement. So this last column is going to be true except for the case where the premises are true and the conclusion is false. So the premises are true and the conclusion is true in the first row. The premises are false, so it doesn't matter what the conclusion is in the second row. But in the third row, notice the premises are true and the conclusion, P, is false. So in that case, the argument is false. And finally, the last one is true. Because this is not a tautology, because there's a case where this argument breaks down, this argument is invalid. So this is an example of an invalid argument where we try to reverse and say P implies Q and Q implies P, and that's invalid. We're not able to do that.